Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 58. Today we're going to take a look at uh, WooCommerce. So this is for my client, Western Canoeing and Kayaking, and what they want is uh, to not show a purchase button for their boats only. So they don't actually keep uh, a live stock record with their uh, POS system, so we're not syncing that into WooCommerce all the time, and we don't necessarily know um, from their imported CSV file if we're going to have boats in this category or if we're going to have say a red one. So what I have here is a just a whitewater kayak, it's a boat. And what I want to do is, you can see on our side here we have canoes, kayaks, and sups which is stand up boards and here's all our subcategories. If we go to our product categories you can see that right there and if we click at it you can see it's got the slug of boats. So we're just setting the stage. So what we want to do is for any product in the category of boats or in any of the subcategories we want to remove the button. And this is how I did it. The first thing we do is we looked up I looked up cherry bomb and right click inspect element and I'm going to look for single add to cart button because that's the class right there. So you can say I have single add to and I'm looking I'm basically just looking in WooCommerce in my whole project. So I'm going to hit find it's actually popped up on the other screen for me. And the first thing I come to is my action, WooCommerce template single add to cart. So let's double check that. And that is right here. So what these four actions, five actions do is for a single product summary, for simple add to cart products, for a grouped add to cart, variable add to cart, and external add to cart. So that's all of our product types. We add the product button grouped add to cart, or we add our product button simple, grouped, variable, and external. And so what I want to do is kill those. Let's start taking some look or a look at some code. So I'm adding this to functions.php in my theme. And this is my first chunk of code. So we're hooking on WP so that it's late enough that our conditionals work because we want to know that is product works. If we were hooked to init, then it's actually not going to work because our conditionals won't run yet. And the first thing we're going to do is if we have a product or if it's not a product, we're going to return. We just don't want to do anything else, so we're dying as early as possible. Since we know we're on a product, I want to get the product option using the WooCommerce get product function. And then I want to do a couple things. Remember, we want to find out if it's in the boat category or in a subcategory of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is use has term boats. So I'm, we're checking if the product has a term boats and we need to reference the term, the taxonomy, which is product underscore cat and the post object product. Now the next thing we need to do is what about all the child terms? Because if this is in a say the whitewater kayaks, which is a child of boats, it's not going to work. And you can see here, I actually had to build a custom function for that. Because WordPress does not have anything by default that will pull all the child terms as well. And so here's my custom function. And the custom function is, is this a child term of, or child of term? So when it takes three parameters, it takes the term, so this would be the parent, in our case, boats, but it would take really any any parent term, so even any category. It takes a taxonomy, so in our case, product underscore cat for our product categories, and then the post object, so in our case, the product. It could be, again, posts or pages or even a custom post type this would work for. And the first thing we have to do in here is get our term. So I want the whole term object because I want eventually the term ID. And I use that by using the get term by function. We need to specify the slug and we're going to use the term slug and then we specify the taxonomy. And the second thing we do is get all the terms on our post object. So we use get terms for that and what we need to do is pass it the post object ID and the taxonomy we're looking for. And then we're going to build an array of all the parent items. So get terms is going to return a, a nested array uh, or multi-dimensional array of all of our post terms which will include the parent ID. So what is the parent of this current term? And we're going to just use WP list pluck, which is essentially magic. It just is going to go through all the array and pull out only the parent ID and give us those items back. 
And finally, all we have to do is take our term ID, which we found out, or which we have in our term object. I'm going to use get term by and check if it's in the array of post term parent IDs. If it is, we'll return true. If not, we'll return false. So that will actually get us everything we need. If it's in a boat category, it's going to be true, and then it's going to use our actions. And so our actions here are, as you can see, we're going to remove all the buttons, and then we're going to add our own custom action, actually. And our custom action here is calling our custom function. And in this case, at this point, all we have is please get in touch about boat purchases. So this would be anything you want. What we're going to do actually is use a form. We'll add the phone number for the company so that someone can see it, so that someone can contact the company easily. And so let's look at our new one. You can see it says, please get in touch about boat purchases. And on my second page, I have a paddle, which is not in the boat category. It's not a child of that. You can see we still work just fine. I'll pick my length, small shaft, and bent shaft. And my product button shows up just fine. So that's how we can remove the purchase button on a product in a category or in a child category. Thanks for watching.